Okay, so we're going to show you how to load the 4100 now. Um, as you can see from the display, the new touch screen, it says there is no paper. So it's really simple. You tap that icon, you tap the top one, it says roll, load paper, and it tells you what to do. So you open the top cover, open the roll cover, remove the roll holder. We have a 24 inch roll ready to go. Um, we're using one of our favorite Origin 230 gram coated matte paper, which is a lovely all round paper. And what we want to do is make sure that when we load the roll, it's completely butted up to that bottom spool um, and flange. And then we lock off the sliding one. We've all had problems with that. Lifted it up. Yeah, and this is what you want to look for to make sure the roll of paper is completely square and flush with the edge of the fixed flange. And then very simply, all you do is you can see it folds off and it just goes around. So all I'm doing, it's beat. That's all I've done. Done nothing do else. that again just, so it goes in? It, it so literally, it just just as it, as, you, as it comes off the roll, yeah. you literally put it round under the guides until you hear it beep. When it's beep, you just close the roll cover, the output guide and the lid. And it says, do you want to start feeding? And you just click start feeding. And this is the new AI that's built into the Pro 41 so that it will look for the paper, the type of paper, the thickness of the paper, the width, and it will um, start its auto load sequence. So there's no you having to pull the paper through anymore. It's literally, it just comes off the roll, goes up through the machine uh, until you hear the beep, then you step back, close the guides, and we'll see what it does. And you see it's feeding the paper, it says please wait momentarily. And then it says select what type of paper we'd like from the list. Now we've not really loaded anything on this paper before so we're going to click coated papers and then we're going to choose heavyweight coated paper which is at the bottom of the list, HW coated paper. Because uh, that's what it is, it's MGR 230 gram mass, it's a heavyweight coated matte paper and that would be a close enough profile for everything we're doing today. We'll get into colour profiling and stuff later. But so um, technically with the AI and the uh, paper thickness, it, it detects a paper thickness, doesn't it? Paper uh, thickness and... I believe so. This is what we're going to be exploring as we... Supposedly length and yeah, as so you, I mean, can, you can type that in yeah. at the beginning and it will monitor things like the length uh, and uh, the paper type. And I think the more you load it, the more accurate it becomes. So this is a brand new printer, mm. as you saw. We only set this up a while ago. Why it's AI. Absolutely, and it will see your t favorite papers, the ones you keep using all the time. I mean, most of us are only using yeah. a handful of papers regularly, uh, like a satin poster paper, a matte paper, maybe a fine art paper yeah. or a canvas. Yeah. Um, so, I think there's probably one thing to note is that it's not to align. Yeah, well, I, d I don't know yet. I have no, no idea. No. This is. Well, I wouldn't anyway. I wouldn't. You can't we'll, put we'll paper find in out. This, or, that would be great if it was, you know, read a barcode. That'd be great. But I don't think all manufacturers are gonna. No, I think or, not. Or not yet. Company, so that'd be good, wouldn't it? Not yet. But I think this is where this AI will it. start to pick up. Um, as you can see, that's ready to print. All I literally did was made sure it was square to the fixed flange and let the printer do the rest of the work. I've not touched it since yeah, telling it what good. paper. And it is done and loaded in, what, a couple of minutes? Because traditionally we're all used to um, loading it and, and hand feeding it. Effectively yeah, hand feeding through and having to lift the lever and align things up to red lines. And it can be tricky towards the end of the roll if you've got, you know, you've, you've got to get to the back of the flange and go up through. Sometimes it's a bit tricky because it catches, especially if you've got a curl on a roll. We've all experienced the end of a roll and, and having problems with that. But well, I think this, this hopefully should solve it, shouldn't it? Well, how so? The interesting thing will be is doing this on a 60-inch mm. roll, which yeah. we'll get to in future yeah. videos, so we'll see yeah. what happens then. Brilliant. Thanks, Ben.